Hello everybody and welcome back to YouTube. Now we're back in Chivalry 2 yet again, and I thought since Steam release is coming out soon, it was about time we started a little mini-series. Now I'm gonna call this mini-series Class Guide, and the first class we're gonna be starting with is the Archer class. You might be asking, whoa, 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 Turtle, why the Archer first? And I'm gonna say, well, the reason we're starting with the Archer first is because that's the class I know the best ins and outs of, how to play the best, how to counter, what to pick, what to use, what to level up, how you wanna play, what kind of thing you should focus on. Now, at the end of the video, we're going to be asking you guys what class you want to see talked about next. Do you want this to be a class guide with the one class and all the subclasses, or do you want me to go in even more depth and go every subclass as well? Hopefully you will enjoy this video, and let's get right into the archery guide. Or at least, how to play the archer the most efficient way. Alright, I'll see you soon guys, enjoy the video. So when you start as an archer, the first thing you will have access to is the longbowman with the normal bow. And the normal bow is pretty decent, it's a fast draw, you have some nice side weapons and your special is a little spike trap. The second subclass you have is the crossbowman with a much heavier hitting weapon and a little bit of a different exclusive side ability which is a little shield. And then you have the skirmisher which throws big spears or axes and has well, a little bit more melee combat efficiency, because he also has a shield, but his special ability is putting down a little trap. Now, the special ability of the longbowman is that you can put down a brazier, or brazier, I don't know what it's called, but it's a little thing you can light your arrows on fire and shoot them at people. If you put down one of these things, a crossbowman can also use this, a skirmisher cannot light a whole spear on fire or all the throwing axes, so don't worry about those. The crossbowman, on the other hand, is probably the class you want to use if you want to level your archery class as fast as possible. And the reason for this is because this crossbowman special ability is to put down a motivational banner. The motivational banner will heal everybody in a nearby vicinity and will give you points for healing people. Quite a lot of points if there's a big fight going on and the banner isn't destroyed. If you're playing the skirmisher, well, you don't have a lot of things to throw, but your special ability is to restock ammunition wherever you are. Normally, as an archer, you will have to go to one of these ammo boxes, get more ammo, get medic, med, med, medic, medic stuff, bandages, to get back into the fight with more ammunition to shoot at your enemy. As a skirmisher, you do not have to do that, because you can just grab your shoulder and boom, you're max on ammo and you can throw more spears. But, think about it this way, as a skirmisher you get much less ammunition, so restocking wherever you are will be very handy, as you only have a few shots or a few throws with your weapon. Now, starting as a longbowman, the one bow you kinda wanna get to, at least in the archery class, is to try to unlock the war bow. The war bow is quite far away from the beginning time, hence why you will probably wanna use the crossbowman for the majority of your archery class gameplay, just to level up your archery class to get that longbow, I mean the warbow. The reason why I'm saying you want to go for the warbow as your first focus as an archer is because if you get the warbow, you'll hit as a truck, you'll insta-kill other archers, and you'll be a menace to most classes in general. Now, there are other benefits to the bow, which draws fast, it fires fast, but has lower damage against most targets. Crossbow hits really hard, but he has a long wind-up time, and while you are Reloading your crossbow, you're standing completely still, and you're exposed to being murdered by anybody. As a skirmisher, you're moving around, throwing things and fighting, so you probably won't be at this same risk from and other enemy archers. Now, let's talk a little bit about strategies, what you can do as a longbowman, and, for example, as a crossbowman and a skirmisher. Let's dive into the strategies of an archer. So, as a longbowman, I'm gonna assume that you're playing that right now. As a longbowman, you can use a little spike trap to very handily dandily get onto higher ground. You can also use the spike trap as a little ramp in the middle of a field, 
to get that slightly higher elevation so you can shoot arrows over your teammates' heads. But you can also use this little cheeky spike trap to climb onto roofs and other higher items in the war game world to gain an upper hand over your enemies so they cannot get to you. Now, this is very handy when it comes to archery in general. I've seen a lot of archers using the spike trap as an elevation point, which is really handy. And I would highly recommend to do so, as it will give you a little bit of extra, well, things to do. As a crossbowman, you can put down a little shield and make a little fortress to sit behind, to cover behind and not be shot by other archers. And then as a skirmisher, well, you just want to be in there and be a little bit in the back line, but be an annoying harassment kind of damage that runs around and throws stuff at people. Now, in other news, if you're playing an archer, let's say you're playing the longbowman, your main focus should be to look at other archers. Those are going to be your easiest targets, but also in general, as any subclass as an archer, you don't really want to always go for the kill, but damage an enemy enough so that when they're taken down, you get a takedown, which will grant you 50 points. I mean, kills will of course grant you more points, but as a beginning archer, you might just want to try to farm up as much XP as possible, meaning that all you need to do is try to damage as many enemies as possible to the threshold where you can earn a takedown reward for when they are killed. Now, when you get the takedown reward, you'll slowly level up your archery class and your bow or weapon that you're using. And as a crossbowman, what you want to do is that you want to try to farm up to your ability, use your ability, run into combat, put down your banner and run away and snipe people with your crossbow. As a crossbowman, your focus should be to focus on shooting at knights. The reason why you want to focus on shooting at knights and archers, of course, archers and knights, archers will always be a high priority as a archery class. The reason why as a crossbowman you want to focus on knights is that you will do the most amount of damage to those and they will almost guarantee you to either kill them or guarantee a takedown for when they are killed. So now, when you know a little bit of what to do, this is some simple strategies. Of course, you can evolve some of these things a little bit more. And I would recommend if you're playing the Longbowman to be a little bit passive, sit a little bit further back than you would imagine, and try to lob some arrows in. If you're feeling brave, of course, try to go on the flank and shoot the enemy in their side. But beware, you might die a lot of times being exposed and on your own. And you'll probably be shot down by enemy archers quite a lot as well, being in the open and on your own. If you're behind your friendly lines, you won't be seen that easily and you can rain down hellfire onto your enemies. Now let's talk a little bit about focus and kind of a little overview of the Archer class and my final thoughts and then we can talk a little bit at the end. So, being an archer might not be the easiest job in chivalry, and at the moment, sometimes it feels like the projectile you fire don't even hit their targets, even though they should. So, don't be alarmed if you feel like your projectiles aren't hitting. They are working on this for the next big patch, and hopefully they will make arrows even more reliable, so they will actually hit their targets. Because sometimes I've had the moment where it seems like if you're in arrow cam and the arrow goes past in a friendly, and it's supposed to hit an enemy, the arrow just stops existing for some reason. I don't know what happens. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I'm not entirely sure. But as an archer, you want to focus on getting your war bow, at least for the maximum efficiency, as it kills archers really fast. You can still be pretty mobile. You can move around while drawing your bow. You can always have a good overview of the battlefield. A crossbowman is pretty fun when there's, you know, a lot of clustered enemies and you can just sit in the back and fire arrow after arrow because it deals so much damage and it reloads decently fast. Only downside is that it is very immobile when you are reloading. Overall, I think my favorite one is the longbowman just because of the spikes. And in the next coming patch, or maybe when you're watching this, when the steam release has happened, the spikes will have been buffed in efficiency that they won't be destroyed so damn fast. So, Longbowman might be the go-to archery class. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're curious or have anything you want to say, be sure to say it in the comments. I'm open for the conversation, and I hope to see you again in the near future. Anyways, I've been the Turtle, and this has been the class guide for the archer. Hopefully you enjoyed. Until next time, hmm, wonder what class we're gonna pick. You tell me in the comments down below, and I'll see what I can do. Until then, see you around. Bye-bye.